Hello, my name is Aaron. I am a solution engineer at Stackwatch, the creators of KubeCost. Today, my demo will show an example of how KubeCost can be used to continually adjust CPU and memory requests on Kubernetes workloads for maximum cost and performance efficiency. KubeCost is a product specifically designed to enable Kubernetes users to gain detailed visibility into Kubernetes cluster spend. Currently on the screen, you see an example of a simple report showing the complete spin for two namespaces the last seven days. With all the data KubeCost is ingesting, it is also able to generate recommendations for efficiency and savings. Let's check it out. We can go to savings, look at pods with over provisioned requests, look at a seven day window for the namespace Acme Air. And we'll see these recommendations down here, which are based off of this 65% uh, resource utilization. Let's focus on Acme Web. You can see we can see that the CPU request currently set for that is 100, um, but in the last seven days it has only used 1.4. Therefore, cube cost is is recommending 10. Same kind of story with the RAM, uh, requesting 180 about 186 using about 50, so recommending about, about 75. So as an engineer, if you have this information, what can you do? In most cases, you know, they will not be able to make changes to resource requests on the fly, especially in production. This is where uh, a CD tool comes into play. Of course, KubeCost is not a continuous deployment tool. However, the good news is it has a very consumable API, which can be used by continuous delivery tools to automate configuration of these resources. And in this demo, I, I, I'm using Armory Spinnaker uh, for the deployment pipeline, as it is multi-cloud, very flexible, and most importantly, has a direct integration with the Open Policy Agent. So let's check out what this looks like in Spinnaker. So here's my Spinnaker pipeline uh, with a configuration trigger to be triggered off of a Docker push. Uh, the scenario, I mean the parameters down here will be for the cube cost query um, to get the information we need for the efficiency uh, recommendations. The scenario here is I am a developer for Acme Air. I want to change Super Smile to Genuine Smile. I already have the image ready to go. Um, so let's go push that image to trigger this pipeline. So we're going to push a new image, which already has the change in it. So as that's going, Spinnaker should kick off. But let's go ahead and look at our deployment in Kubernetes first to see the memory usage that is set. As we can see, the CPU is 100 and the memory is at 200 and we'll check that out after the deployment. All right, so a little review of the stages before we actually see this pipeline run. Uh, I have a pause stage here, which is just pausing it until I get uh, to the active running pipeline. Uh, but the meat of the, the pipeline is uh, to get cube cost efficiency. We're gonna make a query into cube cost with the parameters that we set in the configuration. Um, that's going to, of course, return data. We're going to set some variables on that data. And those variables, such as you see here, the new CPU request, the new memory request, will be used to deploy the new uh, deployment. So you can see that will be set here, and it will be deployed. These other stages are just getting information about the current deployment in case they're used um, down here to deploy without the efficiency change. So let's check out if our trigger was successful. We see we have a yellow uh, manual judgment stage waiting for us to continue. And the pipeline will kick off. It's going to get the cube cost efficiency. And we can see set the efficiency variables here. Uh, we can see the efficiency was 8. Is, is currently 8. And these are the recommendations, pretty similar to what we saw uh, on the UI. Um, as we can see, our, our policy has failed. I mean, our deployment has failed. Uh, let's check out this. And we can see efficiency is above threshold, um, so no changes are needed. So this is where the integration with OPA um, 
is happening. So if we go to our Acme Air website now, we'll actually see that Genuine Smile has been deployed, but let's check out our memory. If I do a describe, we'll see it has not changed because the policy engine didn't let it happen. So if we look at the policy YAML that I have for, um, for configuring this policy, I have, you know, it checks for the deployment type, uh, the name, and, and a label to make sure you want to do an efficiency check. Then you get the, the efficiency number that has been set by the variable from cube cost, and then we're checking if it's above a variable here. In this case, I set it really low to make the pipeline fail. And we'll just set that to 20. Uh, quickly apply that policy and rerun the pipeline. So let's check it out. We'll just rerun it with the same parameters. No need to do another push here. Uh, we'll just run this pipeline. Uh, quickly step through this manual judgments phase. And let's see if our, our new settings get applied this time because the policy uh, will allow it. So it looks to be taking a little longer this time, so hopefully we can see it is running. So if we go here, if we do a describe on here, we'll see that our memory changes have taken effect, so they are now there. And if we go to our website, we'll see Genuine Smile is still there, so we have now deployed with our memory changes. Well, hopefully this demo gave you a glimpse of what is possible with the integration of KubeCost and a continuous deployment tool like Armory Spinnaker. Together, they can make your Kubernetes workloads continuously efficient. Thank you.